holiday stress. It sucks. Waba. How do you deal with it? I have a bad answer for this. Okay. <laughs> My answer is I, 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 I don't engage in situations that will cause me holiday stress. Okay. Be- because I, 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 I refuse to allow other people to, to affect my emotions to such a large degree nowadays. Good for I, you. I, I really just can't be bothered with with all that. That's so much work. Man, if I want to do, like, holiday stuff, I will do it because I want to do it. Or, or you know, I, I want, or someone else wants it, you know. In, in, when I say someone else, I mean, like, my partners. Because, like, right. when I was back at yeah. home, holiday stress was just kind of like i don't know my parents fighting pretty much or like it would be like going to like the uh we had like a family get together for a few years in a row and that would just be loud and annoying and bright and honestly i feel like a waste of my time so i would usually exclude myself exclude myself seclude myself in a corner and play game boy or something that's that extremely never... smart to to just remove yourself from that 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 stress is there anything about the holidays you like um i don't know i think it's any other day i think it's a capitalistic holiday it's an excuse to like give people presents and it's a good excuse to get together but i feel like you could make more effort throughout the year to get together with those same people and it would feel so much more powerful exactly (laughs) and and it would feel yeah. so much more powerful and just so much more impactful if you actually made effort outside of the holidays, honestly. 100%. Um, but I don't know. I mean, the only thing I guess I like about the holidays is that there are some like pretty sites now that I've like acclimated to the area and stuff. And I've acclimated to like kind of like preparing myself to go into a situation that has like a lot of blaring lights and noise. It can be like a fun time, I suppose. I don't personally super enjoy it, but it sure looks visually stunning, I suppose, I guess. Some people I, might I, say. I, I love this. You just ignore the stressful part of it. Like, that's... I, I, I don't want to be it, stressed. It is so hard I'm for choosing me not to, to be stressed. the stressful part. Like, that's... <laughs> I ignore the stressful part because the all the parts that are stressful are people putting weird social obligations on other people, and I don't fuck with that anymore i don't i don't i don't i don't mess with that i don't i don't allow other people to dictate what i need to do societally or feel guilty about or whatever i gotcha makes sense oh anything to add to that because you've been just literally ate, just ate pasta <laughs> i was i mean i did yeah for me I, it's just like when i whenever i've done christmas Oh my god, I can't keep a thing up. This is all going. By the way, this is all going to the oh It's okay. The, it, the holiday um, stress I, gets to us all. We can't keep it up. All yeah, the time. yeah, clearly. I, well, the only stress I have is Atlanta Airport. And even though this is Live Hours podcast, this is staying in. So fuck you, Atlanta. Um, but, <laughs> wow. Um, also, this is like, I, I don't do Christmas. I, I don't really like, I, I've, for, for so many years, unless yeah. I'm with someone, I don't do Christmas. Same. But that's the reason I'm, I'm in the US at the moment is because Lobo invited me, but otherwise I'd have been at home eating pasta, watching some random film. Pasta. I'd, it's pasta, go it's to Italy. Pasta. Go to fucking Italy. <laughs> um, but it's like, I just, what, I, I don't care. Like, it's not. It's 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 such a nonsense holiday that was is stolen from um, another group during the Roman um, era anyway. Like, okay, if we're going to do this, let's go back to Mithras and Saturnalia and do it properly. Like, if you want to pretend that it's a real holiday, let's do it properly. Like, I don't. I holiday stress. It's it's stressful because we are forced to be stressed by others. Mm. Because yep. whenever because the problem is is that so many of us get presents from other people. Well, then then you have to get a present. Okay. It, but well, you not yet. Don't. You don't, but you do. So this, for yeah. some people, genuinely, you don't. But for a lot of people, your parents, your your friends, whoever, if they get you a present, you have to. You because that becomes a stress. If somebody gets mm. you a present, you're like, yeah. I've got to get okay. you something now because okay. you, it feels wrong not to. If you genuinely like, if that's a person you connect with, like if it's somebody you don't care about, they've got you a present. Fuck them. They've got a free gift. But if you actually care about them, you're going to get a present. That's the problem. 
Okay. That's that's what causes so much stress. The easiest way of doing it is to just disconnect, which is what I tend to do a lot of the time during during Christmas. Okay. But so I, have, I will give you back to Lowdown. So we have two disconnecting from basically um, me and Webber are miserable bastards. Right, what right, that's basically <laughs> miserable bastard. I, I just don't allow other people to stress me out like that. I'm not saying My, miserable bastard no. in, a, in, a, in I don't say miserable bastard in in a derogatory way, Webber. I think it's good. I know it's not <laughs> derogatory. You're allowed to be a miserable bastard. Yes. I'm a I'm a happy bastard. <laughs> Fair. Fair enough. <laughs> oh my god, this is so much fun. Um, so <laughs> Leo, holiday stress. What you got, buddy? Ah, uh, yes. Um man. Uh so I definitely agree that the distress always comes packaged in the expectations of others. Um, both real and imagined, right? Like I think like many other aspects of life, it comes down to piss poor communication because we just rely on things like tradition to communicate various uh, aspects of our lives. And then it ends up with people going through the motions without actually thinking about why they're doing it. Um, but then they get upset if you don't go through the motions, um, which is always interesting. But yeah, smart. Um, there, actually. You know, I think for me, while I like the potential to just um, remove myself from it, unfortunately, that's not quite possible uh, in, in my situation. Um, and there there are a lot of like family expectations. Uh, I tend to deal with it by just like fine, I'll participate, but I'm going to do things my own way. Um, and I'm not going to really worry about conf like conforming to all of your like things that I, I don't really care about, but I will like show up and make an appearance and I'll talk to people and, um, you know, like I, I make it as positive an experience as possible and really focus on the parts that are actually meaningful. Um, right. And because it's positive for other people to see you right you know, it is around, like, like your kids and your, like it's hard to do <laughs> you know but if you show up it matters to people more than you right think. yeah like, that's the... and, and typically i found that yeah. if i agree to participate on the level that like i care to and i don't necessarily need to you know, fully embrace everything. And um, it's not nearly as draining that way for me. And, and so it's like, okay, I can do that. And, you know, I might be tired afterward or whatever and I'll probably need some recovery time. And I definitely didn't schedule any of that for this week. So that'll be fun. Um, <laughs> the good news is there's like almost nobody in the office. So nobody will know if I don't do shit. By, by the office, I mean the great metaphorical office of um, the internet. But uh, yeah, a lot, a lot of people will be out. Um, which is why I always say you should never take the week after Christmas off because it's pretty much an off week anyway, and nobody will be there right. to um, know any differently. But I digress. Um, it'd be a good thing to get out in public, right? Uh, no. <laughs> so we have two, uh, two things here. It, two people say, I ignore the, these things, and then you saying, I'm just going to show up. Uh, right like like but it, it's, it's not wrong either way you do it it's not wrong like it's just what works for you again <laughs> like that's the whole thing it, it's if showing up is what you need to do then show up it, I, it, if ignoring it is what you need to do then ignore it <laughs> that, that that is the key though it is like just yeah. finding out what works for you in your very, very specific situation right. and everybody's situation is so damn different at the holidays. Like, exactly. um, and, and, you know, depending on relationships with family and things like, I mean, I'm relatively like easy in the fact that like, yeah, my family has like some like slight annoyances, but for the most part, they're all very tolerable people. Um, right. and, uh, you know, I, I don't like, hate Speaking hanging of, out with them like we don't always have the most in common um i don't always have a lot to talk about but i can always find something to talk about with somebody right yeah. um well, because you're 
engaging and fun and <laughs> fun to talk to. So. I mean, it's just like people, right? Like they're people. Yeah, um, exactly. And you know, I, I think it is uh, a, a good thing to be able to go into these situations um, as needed and just, yeah, as you said, just just show up. Yeah. So uh, speaking of showing up, um, my wife is calling me. Up is going to take over here. Oh, for, <laughs> <laughs> Spark has started a fundraising effort for Crisis Text Line. We have a goal of $19 per episode as $19 supports one person in their time of absolute crisis with their mental health. If you would like to donate through our fundraiser titled Lauren's Infinity, the link is listed in the episode's description. Lauren was my wife's best friend and loved by all who came into contact with her. <laughs> uh, I'm right. Love our Spark podcast. <laughs> I'm right. Oh, well, I, if we're doing your podcast, we're going to continue by just going, Beth, would you like to tell us how you do with yeah. Christmas Beth? I want to do a lobe out there. So, Beth, Beth yeah. how do you deal with um, Christmas dress? I uh, don't really have much. Um, I think for the guys in the States, I'm not sure what the UK is like, and obviously doesn't really affect you, but you guys have to deal with Halloween, Thanksgiving, and then Christmas. You've got so much in a few months. By the end of it, I'm not surprised that you're... So, and, of course, you've got family that you know, expect gifts or expect this and that and have a certain, you know, so with our family, it's, yeah, it's pretty, no, pretty no, easy. No. Sorry? If you're in the US, you're going to have, in the UK or Australia and like that, Christmas, if you're, in the, if you're in the US, you have the holiday time, don't you? You have the holiday time. Yeah, no, yeah like, do you mean I was, I was say, it is true. Like, if you're in the US or the UK, us, oh. we just have Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. But I, yeah. So the Americans have all their holidays of Thanksgiving, Halloween, oh, Christmas, whatever else they do. Um, yeah. So, and we're also, uh, and I guess for you guys, you still have kids at school. You're only off for like a, a week or two or something around the Christmas time. Whereas we're off for, uh, in Australia, kids finished about the 8th of December and they won't get back to school till end of March, end of March, end of January, early early February. So we're all on holidays. But for me, uh, what we do is, like as a child, it was my family of just me two siblings, mum and dad. Then when I got older and I joined a church and met my husband, he, although the other, you could do Christmas if you wanted, he decided not to. And so for years and years, we didn't do anything until say five years ago when I reconnected with my family. And um, yeah, so Christmas was a thing. So it was a new thing for my, my kids who hadn't really experienced anything like that. So how what we do is um, we go to my stepmom's for dinner. Well, this year it's dinner because my son has to <laughs> work on the day because we're not celebrating Christmas on Christmas Day because my daughter had to work. One daughter had to work in the after afternoon. One had to work in the day. We're like, because we don't care what day it is, you know. It doesn't yeah. have to be on the 25th. So we're going to meet up on the 30th. Yes, the 30th. And for, um, the way we do gifts is that kids under 18 get presents. Over 18, you go into the secret Santa. And so we only just have to buy one present for the adult. That's, um, and that includes like my stepmom, my brother, my sister, family. But then I also do something with, whilst I can get a, a secret Santa from one of my children, I may get their names picked. That's a different thing. I also get them, my my children, like the older ones are present, and the younger ones will probably get a bit more. <laughs> so the twenty, on the twenty fifth, Christmas Day, the presents I'm giving to the children that live in the house, will do something, just us, nothing major, just nice meal, whatever. 
26th, I go to my daughter's house. I'll give the presents to the other kids that come from me. And on the 30th is where the family or the extended family get together. And on the 31st, I catch up with my sister-in-law and her son and my kids come there and we are going out uh, for a breakfast. So it's, it's funny because it's... it sounds like a lot, but it's just spread out. But um, you've decided it. That's that's the thing, isn't it? You, you it's like yeah, well, the reason you're kind of avoiding the stress is because you've taken control of it. Yeah. So as far as like, and a lot of stress is taken from me. My mm. my um stepmom does the cooking for Christmas, right? Um, and we provide stuff like some will provide money towards the food, you know. So she likes doing what she we always say to her, are you sure you're not doing too much? And she said, No, no, I'm happy, I'm happy. So um so I get to bring the drinks and I'll bring a dessert and you know, so we all list so everybody's got something to do. Um same with my daughter, she said bring this and that. They don't get me to cook, they don't get me to do things like that because they know I, I will stress about that. I can't I stress about normal day to day cooking. So yeah. Um, I did have a, I suppose the biggest stresses were like gifts and things like that for people. Uh, and also I've been in a lot of pain recently, like my legs. Have been, so going out shopping, that has been a real strain. So um, to counteract that, because I did need food, I did online deliveries of food, so I wouldn't have to go out and do that. So I'm pretty, pretty Amazon, up to you're, you're a proponent of Amazon then. You're, you're a big proponent of like, Get, getting the stuff in from from elsewhere because I know yeah. I know like a lot of a lot of place a lot of families and that always want to do everything you know it's got to be this way of doing it but just just allowing technology to help you is kind of helped yeah the thing is I've, I've actually signed up to a delivery service one of our local supermarkets so okay. um it was really cheap to do it so and I get free delivery so it worked out really well so yeah so, I mean I will panic I tell you because uh, I've still got to wrap some gifts. I've still got to work out which gifts pile goes to which thing. You know, make sure I haven't forgotten anything. But, but other than that, it's pretty pretty chill. And we have fake trees, so that's fine. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it, it is interesting. Like you were saying before, before my internet cut out here for two seconds. Yeah, it is interesting because the UK and the U and, and Australia do have the same thing. We only have Christmas, whereas the US has a holiday period, which is yeah, very oh, different. Yeah. Like, it's almost like your stress builds up because for us, yeah. we have Christmas. We don't have Thanksgiving, which is in that period. Like, we don't have Thanksgiving. That's not a thing for us, obviously. And so there's no like, oh, Thanksgiving's here. Well, that means this is happening and this is happening. It's just, well, mm. no, there's nothing happening at the moment. So why would we stress until it's nearer to Christmas? Whereas I think the stress starts earlier if you're in the US because it's like oh yeah we've got Thanksgiving that means that this is coming next and then this is happening and it builds up doesn't it you guys have also got the cold weather to deal with as well depending on where you are I don't think Lobel does does he um, you know, well, I mean you, got... you certainly don't I mean was it summer for no. you isn't it <laughs> yeah, yeah which is it's such a weird concept for I think so many people that, that Christmas can be in summertime because it's mm. like that like the whole image of Christmas is for, for, for oh, yeah. a lot of the Western world is snow, uh, you know, Santa with a, I mean, it's a sleigh. Santa with his yeah, sleigh I mean, on snow. You would buy fake snow and spray your windows and stuff, you know. You, um, and a lot of people, like when I was growing up, you know, we'd have the full-on roast dinners and all that sort of stuff and, you know, if it's supposed to, um, which we're actually going to do because, <laughs> well, that's what we're doing with my stepmom. But, yeah. Yeah. I mean, roast, roast is always a good idea. So, I mean, I, roast, uh, Britain is known for roast, for roast meal. That's our Sunday. That's, oh, yeah. <laughs> we just had to do well, a we giant roast. Every Sunday. Yeah. yeah. As a child, but then, yeah, I don't. So, for, for, for any, any, of, any of you there, because I can, again, I'm on a phone. For anyone that's watching this, I'm on a phone. So, I, I, I don't know who I'm speaking to off the time. Um, swipe, swipe the phone, swipe the screen. So, either that way or that way, and you should get everybody come up. Oh, yeah. oh, Jesus Christ. You'd, you'd think someone that deals with YouTube and things on a daily basis would know these things. Fuck me. Um, but uh, so 
Uh, is there anything like uh, around Christmas that you, because oh, everyone deals with Christmas in their own way, but is there anything of Christmas that you almost enjoy the stress? So like for me, although I avoid the, the stress and things, when I have had to be taking part in Christmas, I enjoy, when I've done it for family, I've enjoyed cooking because I enjoy the roasties and, you know, roast potatoes. Yeah. I enjoy that. Like, is there a thing that you've gone, okay, this bit is stressful, but actually it's a kind of nice stress. It's not a, it's not something that's overwhelming me. It's just something that I go, actually, yeah, that, that's kind of, that's why I get up on Christmas Day for it. Is there anything that any of you have, have felt about that one? Mm. I mean... No. Wabba, what, what did you say there, Wabba? No, I mean, yeah, I guess it's 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 a whatever the stress that we like put on ourselves. I suppose that's fine enough. You yeah, know, you like, kind of enjoy it almost. Well, my boyfriend was mentioning you. that he he wants to like cook Christmas meals from even if I don't want to do anything for the holidays, he still wants to do that. But he likes yeah. cooking, so it's something enjoyable for yeah. him, and I'll probably do it yeah. with him because I like cooking too. So, yeah, so it's 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 kind of nice. it's not big stress. But it's like, yeah. oh, you know, it, it's that it's those little things, like making sure that you don't burn the potatoes or something. It's little things, but it's it's enjoyable as well, isn't it? You know. What about yeah. you, Leo? Is there anything anything for you that you you think about? Ah, let's see. Well, um, now the one the one thing I, I typically try to fit in, uh, given the opportunity, is uh, baking a batch of gingerbread uh, gingerbread men. Um, Nice. Yeah, it's. I. I wouldn't say it's like necessarily like a stressful thing. Like for me, it's. It's literally like, it's the one time of year I ever bake anything. It's like the the one thing, um, and so, yeah, I'm looking forward to doing that at some point. So it's, it's interesting because I think for some people these things would be stressful for others, but it is something again that we're putting on ourselves to go. I enjoy cooking this. I enjoy baking this, which could be stressful if we allowed it to be. Mm. That it, because I think I, I've said this on, on on my podcast, I've said it on Low Bows before, I've said it on everyone. The, I think one of the biggest things about mental health, especially, is that thing of control. So when we have the control, it makes it so much easier. Like, well, I have control over wanting to make these potatoes this way or wanting to make this gingerbread this yeah. way or, or wanting to have a secret Santa. Like, if you take control of it, it's so much easier to deal with it because it doesn't feel like stress because it's... Yeah you have the control you know well i mean for me personally there's other people that have taken the stress from me there's no way i would cope with having to deal with making a main meal for the whole family there's like 14 of us on the, yeah. the big get together and also with us because we're so laid back we we do i think i've said before we do birthdays where you get together every few months and whoever's had a birthday from say january to march we all get together because it's it's really hard, you know, with working and to coordinate everybody. So anyway, this year when it was my birthday in August, we had like a group we were supposed to get together, but we had to postpone it. Then we had to postpone it again, and so we're also doing a birthday presents at the Christmas get together for anyone that's had a birthday or having a birthday between now. I mean, between August and the end of the year, because we just miss it. Well, I just, you know, we just get together. Yeah. You know. I mean, so, as, as someone whose birthday is in see. January, that's definitely something I'm hit with all the time. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm going to pass you back over to the real host of this podcast. <laughs> so <laughs> I'll see you in a bit. Thanks, Bob. Right. It is time once again to give shout outs to the biggest supporters of this podcast. Without you, this does not take place. It just does not. So thank you, Leo Guinan. Here is another great supporter of this podcast that you are currently listening to. <laughs> I would also like to thank Kirk Hofstrom, Casey Elliott, Sarah Delano, Justin Allingham, Blushing Crafter, Jamie Young, and Beth Jones. I love all of you very, very much. More than you could know. <laughs> Appreciate it. So... I'm not nearly as animated as uh, he is, but uh, would anyone like to ask me how I deal with the holidays? 
I really oh. want to- now that you're back, let's hear it. For sure. Uh, what I'll say is uh, you fly up from Europe. <laughs> <laughs> Over here, and it's okay. Uh, literally, he took away. So I have trouble driving over bridges now for some reason. Anxiety. Like crazy. But he's talking as we're driving, and I felt no anxiety. When, when that is having someone else next to you, a friend that cares about you talking, <laughs> like that's the whole, again, the whole premise, friends matter. <laughs> so that's yeah. my opinion on it. So anything else before we close this out uh, on holidays? Because holidays are, oh God. What, what, what happens with you? That is your I have like cat. 30 Christmases uh, within two days. So it's. So you got your family. Uh, your so I fly family. up over here. So he get me through these things. <laughs> like, basically. Because it's, it's my friend's Christmas. My parents Christmas. My in-laws Christmas. My wife and I's Christmas. Like, like we just, it, it just, it never ends. Never. And, and that's until January 1st. And uh, it was funny. I told uh, one of my friends is getting married on New Year's Eve. And I was like, uh, I'm bringing a Brit uh, to the wedding. Uh, and, <laughs> and he goes, okay, cool. I, I thought that was fun. To get married. It's just going to be really awkward when he thinks that's his present. <laughs> What do you have to say about that? <laughs> I'm, I'm a present for everyone. I'm a present for everyone. I love it. Uh, the gift no, that keeps on giving. It, it's just fun to um to hang out and yeah, be friends. Like that's again the entire premise of this. So <laughs> he's helped me. I've helped him. He won't admit it, but I th I think I have. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> but we're just hanging out having fun like that's it like that's Leah, you came down here you know and just shot the shit for a couple of days like it matters this fucking matters <laughs> yeah. the birds of friends right so waba what are you doing on christmas day um streaming for a long time and holding space for others and i love you mental, I, it's, I, it's mental health monday still I love that. <laughs> that is, like I said, I'll be a crying mess one day and really motivating the next. But today, I'm not a crying mess because someone flew from Europe over here. To, <laughs> to, uh, yeah, I mean, gets to the U.S., automatically hates Georgia. Right? I mean... Point. But he does know? like the song Devil Went Down to Georgia. That's... Yeah, that so, time. yeah <laughs> and then he started a university. <laughs> Georgia's our biggest rival, so we can't we, we can't like that city. Like we can't. Uh, that's you just call Georgia a city. Georgia's a state. I know that, but I I think it's a city. Anyway. No, I said state. <laughs> I heard state. I think. Anyways, I, I love y'all. Thank you uh, for doing this. Um, the holidays are stressful, uh, especially for me because I, I feel like I overexert myself. You and... no. Giving more of yourself than you can handle? No. I mean, that's, you'd never that's do that. Uh, that's what I do. <laughs> but uh, but it came at a it, an issue this year. It's the, there's a lot going on with my family and my friends, and having a friend like up here is actually literally saving me from like. Just saying, I'm. I'm just gonna stay in a hotel for four weeks. <laughs> like, <I'm... laughs> um, quickly before we get off of here, and feel yeah. free to cut this out. How's your dad doing? Not great. Not great. So an another episode, and uh, so I'm trying to balance that with, yeah. you know, all the yeah. Christmas, yeah, you know, dynamics. But uh, he's alive so to me that's great yeah. you're alive every day you're alive is a win <laughs> like that's i, I love that <laughs> uh 
that. Yeah. But, and we're in the fourth quarter. There's no doubt about that. We're in the fourth quarter. But yeah. uh, I want him to kneel it out winning instead, you know, and, and like and my mom and I will be right behind him. So that's it. Yeah. <laughs> my opinion on it. But love you. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Yes, we love you. I'll Merry see you next Christmas. Friday. Merry Christmas. All right. All right. Merry Christmas, everyone. Take care. Bye. Are we, are we doing glass? Sorry. Are we doing glass? What is that? Uh, I don't. I thought Wobble wanted to say something. Sorry. I, I saw. I just said Merry Christmas. Oh, Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Love all of you. Merry Christmas. I'll see you Merry soon. Merry Christmas. Take care. All right. Okay.